did get an opportunity to see UVA take Ohio to overtime. They almost had an opportunity to win, but Ohio was able to snag it. Um, so that was big for them. So I wouldn't be surprised if this UVA team would actually give JMU a challenge. The things could go very positively in UVA's favor. Later on, later on in this game, you know, we're going to do um, the matchups, you know, players to watch. I'll just go ahead and tell you the players to watch for this particular game. Um, a person we don't really get to see as often as we should, um, but he is the head captain for UVA, White the fifth. Really intelligent player on and off the court. Takes his academics very, very seriously as we have more information about him momentarily. And then we also got um, Nick Watts, which we literally just saw this play and just put on a clinic. Oh man, that's an easy catch right there by UVA. Cheeseboro still can't just be leaving those balls up, so. I won't know the players for UVA. All right, White just went down out of 10. I won't know the players for UVA until I can see their back. They don't have jerseys on the front and the back, just on the back. So if I'm a little bit slower with their names in comparison to JMU, please forgive me in advance. All right, so 69 with the throw right there. Jones won the captains. Just a sophomore, second year playing. Oh, good kill right there. But just like that, number one, Ben Wu goes down by the chains. He is beside himself. Here comes Jewel. Oh, never mind. Throw was in the middle. Bullet shot. And down goes number, I think that was eight. McCarthy. Yeah. Also one of those captains, too, for UVA. Oh, Eli goes now. He just got caught sleeping. Brown. All right, good reset throw right there by number 10. Jack Smith. All right, they're going Holmes right there trying to stop that ball. Brady Holmes, that is. Ah, uh, another Brett Bassett cat right there by Cheeseboro. You hate to see it. Anywho, that's, I mean, Smith, Smith has been doing pretty well thus far. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Aha. But Ryan with a catch of his own. Whoa, you step over the line. Wait, hold up, no, sorry. Wrong line, my apologies. He did not step over the line. Missed catch right there by number 15. Don't know his name, so unfortunately he's got to call him 15. JMU crowd's getting into it now. Fun fact, UVA and JMU is only an hour away. So these teams are very, very close to each other. White's backhand. Yeah, that catch made uh, by Smith earlier did bring back never bring back White, number seven. White the fifth. Head captain of UVA. Woo! Yikes. 18 goes down. Eric almost had it, but Eli was just able to clip him. Oh, but Eli goes down. Uh, 
Yeah, Maryland got to throw again. They got to throw again. Now it works. Oh, great catch right there. Great catch right there by JMU. Picking out number nine of UVA on that exchange. Team throw coming up. Try to go against Holmes, no dice. Oh, but White just couldn't snag it. And just like that, UVA, after this throw, will be on the 10 count. Yeah, Jules got him. Jules got him. You're out. It's going out. Levy goes down the ladder change. Right there by Swab. Ooh, close. Five with the twelve, kind of high, but it worked. Holmes with a reset throw of his own. They won't count it, so you have to throw again. All right, that'll work. Oh, no. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, headshot. <laughs> Two players left for UVA. Got him. 16. 11 goes down. One player left. It's not going to work. He needs a ball. Ooh. All right, team throw coming up. Woo! Headshot. Jesus. Savage. And first point goes to JMU. All right, so 17.36 left in the first half.
a good reset throw right there. Good job by UVA stopping that ball. Whoa, I thought that I thought that was good. All right. Oh, great catch right there by White. Taking out number 23, Eli Rovella. Oh, that a change. Ooh. Oh, good catch. Oh! Yikes. Ouch. Just like, damn. Jules is savage, man. It's just getting these headshots, man. Relax. All right, good reset throw right there by Will. Woo! Woo! All right, they'll get those two balls, right? Oh, that's an easy catch. Yikes. Oh, ho, ho, but Ryan responds of his own. That brings back Eli into the mix. Ah, uh, you reach, I teach. We're now under the 15, 30 seconds mark. Oh, innocent bystanders just got clapped the next week. You hate to see it. Oh, easy catch right there by Smith. Woo, not bad, not bad, Woo. All right, Ryan's pushing. All right, here comes White. Still pushing. <laughs> Householder with a long reset throw. It's... The same ground, so you say. Oh, great catch right there by UVA. That takes down number four, one, Patrick Schwab. UVA's been building momentum in this game. Dang, we can't get it. Jamie, you only got two balls, and they don't have to throw in this situation. It seemed like White trying to coordinate his team for a team throw. It seemed like on either side. Timeout. That was a good timeout. Uh, James, you called a timeout, so that means they have one timeout left in this half. There you go. 
Ooh! Headshot! But Householder taking down number 15 that exchange. They traded blows, but Householder won that exchange. Did not get hit in the process. I don't think he's going to, I don't think, I think he's out of reach on that one. Oh, no one got hit. Oh, boy. White with a full head of steam. Not a bad reset throw right there. Wu's going way by himself. Man, it's moving. Moving that quickly on a transition game on this court is not an easy thing to do, but Wu's doing it. Oh, great kill right there by UVA, taking out one of the JMU players from New Jersey, man. That's crazy. Just pushing, still pushing. No dice. Okay, 69 jumps, guys. Ooh, jump throw. JMU has five players left. They lose another play. They will be on the 10 count. Official timeout. All right, so 1042. Sorry, 10, 10, 24 left in the first half. This time, official timeout. Do we know the score of JMU B versus UVA? I don't, actually. Sorry, Corey, I wish I did. I wonder if it's possible for me to have a seat up here. I'm not even gonna hold you, man. Being, when I was younger, you know, standing was no issue. Your boy's getting just a little bit older, man. Just a little bit older. All right. Looks like that was a balls over call. All right. <laughs>
Here he comes. All right, let's get it. All right, team throw against Wu, not successful. Team throw on the left-hand side, also not successful. But White goes down in that exchange. You hate to see it. Unconventional way for him going out, but he went out nevertheless. UVA only got one ball. They don't have, well, now they have two. Well, now they have more than two, so now their clock will be beginning momentarily. They at 15. If JMU lose another player, they will be at the 10 count. Woo, good kill right there. All right. Oh, excuse me. We're at the 9.30 mark now. All right, so after this throw. Wow. Oh, man. In a bad height. All right, so now JMU is on the tank count. Oh, ho, ho. Woo. man, and E is cooking. That's um, garbage. Yeah, he's cooking right now. All right, reset throw. Power. And as the ball's over. That's crazy. Let's get it. All right, team throw should be coming up. Stagger throw. None of them were successful with this house holder. None of them. Three throws against house holder, no dice. Damien only has two balls, so there is no shot. Oh, ho, ho. Big catch right there. That brings back number 12, Jules. Go, go. All right, so now Jamie has three balls. They have to throw within 10 seconds, and that will work. Good reset throw right there for UVA. Excuse me. All right, good. Well, no, they won't count that for Smith. They will not count that. They'll, now they'll count those ones. Holmes pretty much screaming at his teammates like, dude, already throw that last ball. Get back. Good situational court awareness right there. Yeah, that kind of sting a little bit, huh? Yeah, we out here throwing straight gas. Ooh. Ooh, good block. Ah, oh, that ain't going to work. That ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna work. That's a ball is over. This is exactly what UVA needed.
<sighs> Excuse me. It's not a timeout, boy. Ready, 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 let's go. Uh, let's go. Oh. Oh. All right, so JMU will get at least one ball back. Still, no shot clock for them. They need at least um, three balls or more. All right, that's two. Still don't have to throw. Still don't have to throw now. If that ball stays, still. All right, and now the shot clock will start. Oh, that's a kill. And 15 goes down in that exchange. Great kill right there with number 12, Joel. Alex Horder try to get with the low ball action. Almost hit his target. Oh, that was close. Uh, here come Holmes. Pump fake. All right, Smith with the throw. Oh, big catch right there. And 16 goes down by the team. You hate to see it for UVA. It brings back in another damn year player. Time out, time out, time out, time out. Hold up, one minute. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. As you can tell, the crowd does not like the ref call. Now, um, I can't tell you exactly what happened. I wish I could. Oof. We're not quite at the point in the lead that we can do instant replay. We have the technology. Well, I mean we, I mean me. No one else has that capability yet. I have the capability. I don't have the manpower. Um, but yeah, we've been we've been testing some things out in the lab. Um, our experience with ESPN has been very instrumental and helpful. But long story short, we're not quite there yet. But we're moving in the right direction. But um, yeah, apparently timeout was called. Official timeout to discuss about the catch. I couldn't tell you if the catch was made before or after the timeout was called. So the verdict is still out. With that being said, we are now under the three-minute mark. 
the stream may not necessarily reflect it. Well, oh no, actually it's actually on time. You will see it. Ooh, that's a kill. That's a kill. That's a kill. Yep, and down goes number 11. Anywho. Woo! Oh, he wasn't, he wasn't paying attention. He almost got caught sleeping. Oh, they're saying like that's a kill because it hit his, hit his shirt. Not 100% sure. I wouldn't solo against Joe if I was you, Smith. That's just my humble opinion. I wouldn't. Team throw bare metal. Two to at least two, if not three. I wouldn't solo against Joe. That's that's not. I I, I wouldn't do that, fail. I would not do that. That's better. Yeah, that's. All right. All right, so now, um, 145, and um, no more timeouts for JMU for this half. Cool. This is a close game, which, honestly, based off of what I've been seeing at Beast, not surprising. Not surprising. Um... We've been <laughs> how how long have we been streaming? It's been a minute, at least six hours and counting. Wow, fun time, huh? Whew, man. Oh man, I'm man. As soon as I get home, relax my feet. I'm gonna take a nice nap, a nice long nap, and then we're gonna get started. And then we got to do editing. Um, we got to do some editing. But, uh, yeah. Oh, man, excuse me. Oh, man. Time ready. Time ready. Time Ooh, my apologies. Man. Been up since um, 5.30. Yeah, it's been a long day. Fun day. Fun day, but kind of long. Ooh. Uh, let's see what House we're about to do. Uh, he, Holmes kind of thought about him and then kind of just pulled his hands back at the last minute. Didn't want to get hit there. Good block. Ooh. That was a good block. We're about to reach the one minute mark. Oh, clipped him. Clipped him. Smith goes down that right game. Nice. That was close. We're now under a minute. Oh. Oh, that's a kill. Holmes goes down by a change. Oh! Couldn't snag in that catch. All right, so 15 seconds left. Jamie should be okay. Nah, he reached. Oh, no, no, no. Halftime score is only one to zero in favor of JMU. One to zero. I'm going to see if I can have a quick seat real quick. Kind of just rest my feet. Oh, man. Whew. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, where's that chair? Damn, damn it.
too. I can just sit down just maybe about two to three minutes, man. Just kind of trying to give myself a breather at least. At least trying to. Ah, that feels so much better. All right. Let's see that here. All right. All right, so let's see what we got here. Go ahead and mute that. All right. We got one more graphics matchup. All right, so head to head, UVA versus JMU. Um, as you can tell, JMU has been extremely dominant against UVA. Twelve straight victories, trying to make it thirteen. Um, against the East Coast region, you know JMU at a whopping. Pretty much close to 70%. Um, UVA, unfortunately, scraped it out at 21%. Jane U, you know, they win their point 60% of the time. UVA, rough about 47% of the time. So, but this game is a lot closer than what meets the eye, right? Um, in terms of player to watch, we have... Uh, please tell me I did this right. No, I did not do that correctly. Okay, so I don't remember which one was white. So let's go ahead and pull up Nick Floss information real quick. So Nick Floss, hometown of South Riding, Virginia. Um, his favorite quote, I'm like a dog chasing cars. Uh, last year he was a rookie. All All American team, best catcher on JMU, was rated number one um, in a Dottie uh, trivia 2024. Let's see if we can kind of quickly pull up <clears throat> White's information real quick. If I can just find it, just give me a second. There it is. All right, so it's you. Got it. Okay. So very quickly, White, head captain of UVA. He's considered a fourth year. So at UVA, they do, you know, first year, second year, third year, fourth year. Uh, favorite quote is, what's next? Uh, hometown, he's an RVA guy, Richmond, Virginia. Major in physics and computer science. Like I said, very intelligent young man. Um been in the lead for two year preseason uh, regional overtime six and he plans to go to graduate school at UVA for his PhD in physics. All right, so now since we got all the promo stuff out the way, now we can go ahead and kind of get things back up and rolling. We'll go ahead and update the time and the half. So now we're in the second half, and there's 25 minutes left. Neither team scored a point in that half in that last point. So it's still only one to zero in favor of JMU. But James, but uh UVA has been playing um very well. I feel like UVA don't get a lot of credit because um a lot of the teams that they do play against is on the East Coast. And they don't really get a lot of opportunity to play outside the East Coast with the exception of Nationals. Um, but slowly but surely, every single year, they have been getting better. So not really surprised to see that this is only a one-point game. Up, uh, oh, ball start. Ball start. Oh.
Let's get it. All righty. All right, reset throw by JMU, successful. Reset throw by UVA, also successful. I feel like both teams are kind of just filling each other out. And this particular point was both too soon. Two players go down for JMU, 99 and five horse holder, horse holder uh, via hit and catch. That shouldn't count, in my humble opinion. Good pump fake. Oh, good block. All right. Kind of missed that, but right now it's a block. But just in case, everybody is safe for JMU on that one. All right. We're kind of moving at a slow pace. Two. Uh. Oh. Oh, man. Just so nonchalant, too, man. My goodness, just. Eli goes down that a change. My goodness, a lot of bread press, a lot of bread basket catches right there. Oh man, Wu was trying to sacrifice himself right there, trying to catch Ryan right there. Let's see what Smith's going to do. Good block. Oh, he reached. He reached. Number eight goes down. Ah, man. He, he wished he could have had that one back. Good pump fake. Ooh. Trying to go after White. Little captain on captain action right there, huh, Schaefer? Yeah, boy. All right, we have the 220. We have the 22 20 second mark of the second half. That shouldn't, well, eh. Do a better job getting closer to the target, please. Thank you. That's an innocent bystander. They didn't deserve that. They didn't deserve that. Don't do that to them. That fan was not heckling you. Now the fans a couple of rows now was heckling you. If you feel the need to hit them, you can do so. But that's on you, not on me. Luckily, we didn't have to get event insurance on this. Not trying to pay a pretty penny off of other people's stupidity. But that's not a hit or there. Oh, big catch right there. Yes. No, no, no. That's a catch. Ryan goes out. That was a big catch right there from UVA. UVA is doing a great job, you know, just catching when they don't really have a, when they don't have ball advantage. They've really been holding their own in that department. Oh, Floss goes down. Big kill. Good idea. Good idea. I like it, White. I see what you're trying to get yourself into. Oh, he dropped it. He dropped it, man. And he's sick to his stomach. He had it. Sick to his stomach. Oh, oh, yes. And White got it. I don't know how. Very flexible. Very flexible. We saw one of those catches. No, saw one of those catches at Maryland. Did the exact same thing. I don't know how he does it. But I believe we caught all of that on camera. We might have had a couple of crowd interference right there. Well, not really interference is in the way, but no, nah, we definitely caught that. My goodness. Woo with the throw. Good block there by Schaefer. 
Also, we get a chance to see a lot of um, the bench players from UVA. We got a ton of them, actually, surprisingly. Playing right into their bench, so that's pretty cool. Give these guys a much needed experience. Swab, try to take a swab at it. Man, these dad jokes are something else. Relax. Relax. It's not that time yet for your boy. Ooh, Wu goes down that a change. Nope. Hey! Nope, you can't do that. Cannot do that. That's a yellow card. That's a yellow. You can't do that. You cannot do that. You have to leave the ball alone. Have to leave that ball alone when you're out. You have to drop the ball or you can throw it back. You can't do that. That's Yeah, can't can't do that. Cannot do that. You gotta leave it alone. Can't do that. Alright, let's get it. Surprisingly, the score is still only one to zero. This is our third point. All right, good block right there, Schaefer. Wow, this pretty much went through everybody, but he will get his ball back. Both teams are at 15 seconds. UVA had three balls; so they will have to throw at some point. Oh, he could not get it. That is un. Whoa, whoa. Oh. What the? Was that man not hit? Right. That's what. Was he not hit? I thought he was hit. What was? What the? I don't know, man. I'm. I'm really. I mean. Like I said. I'm very positive he got hit. Also, I'm not doing replay for this particular tournament. Long story short, the, the tournament started at 9.30. Gym opened up at 9. Just not enough time to get things set up the way how you want it. With that being said, big shout out to number one, Patrick Schwab, coming in for your boy last night. Gave me an opportunity to set up all my equipment. That way we was actually able to start on time with the audio. Speaking of coming in on time. Big catch right there by White the fifth, head captain of UVA. Wow. Really just gave up his body for that leading catch, but he made it work. But yeah, Patrick Swat came in for your boy. Gave me an opportunity to set up my equipment, get everything set up. Didn't take too long to get the other stuff set up this morning. That's why we had no issues on the stream. No issues and we were able to get all the action couple of times we had to change you know the volume of the audio just because things just a little loud but you know we made it work uh, number 10 Smith goes down that it changed thanks to that cross over there by the left hand side alright so it's pretty much Swab and a bunch of oh wow another grown man catch by White he was kind of taken on the back but like I said, he's been putting on a catching clinic. And then home secures the catch of his own. And just like that, JMU is not on the 10 count. I can see how Jam I can see how UVA in Ohio went to overtime now. UVA has been making some, some very clutch catches. We're now under the 17 minute mark. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, JMU is on the 10 count now. Oh, big grown man catch right there. Grown man catch right there. Much needed. That brings about house order right there. Oh, okay. Now, this is interesting. If he would have let that ball, if he would have, if his teammate would have left that ball alone and just allowed my man to catch it, house order would have been out. Yeah, no problem, JT. I appreciate you, my man. Hope Charlotte's treating you well, my friend. 
Hope so, I'll train you well. I should be in the Queen City either sometime this year or sometime next year, but I'll let you know. You got to show me some good places to eat, man. It's been a long time since I've been in Charlotte. Got several family members there. That in South Carolina. Speaking of which, uh, all right, so Jamie, you only have two balls. They do not have to throw. They still don't have to throw. Well, they still, well, take that back. My apologies. They have a ball on their side. 10 second shot clock has been activated. So at some point, they will have to throw. Uh, I don't know about that one. I don't know. It didn't cross the line. It didn't cross the line. How, Guys, what are we doing? It didn't cross the line. Should have been balls over. Well, I don't know. You know, I mean, again, that's what it should be. But I'm also really exhausted. It is what it is. Let's see if you can let's see if he can make another catch. Like I said, we don't know who my man name is because we don't have a name on a jersey. But like I said, he's been putting on a catching planet for his squad. He's becoming in very big for his team. And House Porter goes down in that exchange. One player left to beat. Oh boy. Uh, he pretty much just gave himself up for a catch, which he is more than capable of doing. Just like I said, more than capable, more than capable of making a catch. I've seen my man been catching these balls all day long, making it, making it look too easy. Man, drop catch. Drop catch right there, my number eight of UVA. He's going to have to throw it. He said, I got it. Or better yet. Oh! Wow. Wow. Oh, UVA does not like that. JMU doesn't care. They will gladly take that. Oh, drop catch. 69. JL Jones beside himself. He hates to see it. This has been a long point, y'all. A very long point. A very long point. We started this point at exactly 25 minutes. Now it's 12 minutes. Well, sorry. Now it's 13 minutes, but 12 minutes and 4 seconds have passed. It's been a long point. And the score is still 1-0. to zero. It is still one to zero. Tell me how. <laughs> how? How? I'm serious, man. How? Like, that's crazy. It's still only a one point game. It's crazy. It's <laughs> absolutely crazy, dog. Two players left for JMU. Six players left. No. Seven players left for UVA. Oh, whoops. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, that's on me. All right, scoreboard should be back up. All right. Be oh, God, that's not going to work. All right, the last one barely worked. Oh, he could not snag it. One player left to beat. And let's get the sign back up. No, 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 no. He's out. He's out. He's out. That shouldn't count, but whatever. Nope. Anderson Bison got lit up to, to front street. We're about to change the time real quick. Oh, drop catch by Holmes. He is sick to his stomach. He hated. 
absolutely hate it. Oh, that hit him. That hit him. That hit him. And UVA is now tied the game up one apiece. We do have one lone UVA fan here. She's a brave person uh, and a sea full of dukes. Um, I would say from a language perspective, uh, this crowd has this crowd was more team in terms of cursing than last year. I don't think I've heard any curse words from the faithful, from the JMU faithful. With that being said, this JMU crowd was way, like, this year, way more rowdier than last year. Last year was pretty crazy. Oh, man, don't look now, but on the other court, Ohio, Penn State, tie up two apiece. No way. Oh, my God. I hope someone is streaming. And when I mean streaming, I don't mean just streaming, but also, excuse me, but also doing, you know, the correct panning, tilting. So, like I said, that's a big game matchup for both teams right there. Very positive. Whoever wins that game will go 3-0 for today. And I think since he already went home. Let's get it. Oh, he just took that ball and waved him goodbye, saying, get off the court. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, Cheeseboro just got hit in that exchange. And now it seems like JMU has put him back, their main starters. Easy money for Trent Schaefer. And he told Wu go back to UVA. That's what he said. I didn't say it. Drop catch right there. And Eli Rivera is now about to start cooking things up. We're now under the 11 minute mark. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. But just like that. Oh, did he get a kill? He did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a kill. Yeah, UVA is not playing around. I know UVA had lost 12 straight to JMU. This UVA team, though, they don't care about none of that. They are on upset city right now. They can get this win. One of the one of the biggest upsets, not just for their program history, but also for the NCDA history as well. This is really a David versus Goliath matchup right here. But no one, but nobody from UVA was convinced that they was David. Nobody. Not this team. Oh, big catch right there by Floss. Take it out. Number one, Big Woo. We're now under the 10 minute mark. We're now getting a little bit of back and forth action. It's getting a little interesting now. Fans are getting into it. Oh, but Floss could not snag that catch. Oh, clap him. Cheese, bro, with that. Woo, man, Fosla. No, 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 he's safe. He's safe. I respect that. Thank you, sir. Eli pretty much telling his team to stay up. All right. You know what? He'll get it back. Woo! Oh, that got him. And he pretty much told him goodbye and go back to UVA as well. The disrespect continues with JMU. They do not care if they're playing against UVA or if they're playing against Cincy. Disrespect 
and, t well, just disrespect will be at an all-time high. That shouldn't count. That will count. UVA only got two balls. They do not have a shot clock. Team throw coming up on a, well, it's both too soon. Right side, not the left side. If I was normally on the left side. I feel like now I'm about to get ready for the left-hand side. Here it comes. Oh, kind of in the middle. Interesting. I uh, know he's safe. He's still, he is still safe. And as soon as that ball come back into play, UVA will be on a 15-second shot clock. That ball is a little bit too high, in my personal opinion, should not count. The refs will count it, though, so I ain't, I ain't got no dog in this fight. No dog in this fight. Holmes with the reset throw. Swab's pretty much saying I should have went for it. Uh-oh. Team throw. Oh. Yeah, hit the fan first. Hit the fan first. Interference. Not intentionally, but nevertheless. Oh, Brett Bassett catch. Wrong man move right there. Taking that number four Firehawks right there. Definitely going to help UVA's squad for sure. Oh, block. Oh, Holmes could not snap that one. And he couldn't snap that one either. Back-to-back -back kills right there. Oh, no. Hold up. And he's calling him out. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Back-to-back -back kills right there by JMU. Head of ref Chris was on top of that one. All right, I see, like, it seems like Cheeseboro kind of found his momentum back now. He got he to gotta get his body in position. He has a very strong throw, but sometimes it can be predictable. It just cut through in my straight butter. White with the kill. Woo! It seems like Chris, Bro it seems like Cheeseboro had found the rhythm that he was looking for. He found it. He, he was a little off earlier, throwing a lot of easy catches, but now I feel like he's found it once again. And don't be surprised, he got the hot hand. Pretty much telling Swabs, like, dude, just trust me. Like, you know, we got this. I got my throw back. I got my momentum back. Like, we, we can make this work. We can make this work. Oh, you can't step on the line. Oh, man. White goes down that exchange. Oh, but he reached. Ball right there. Swab, try to take a swab at, but man, then it happened. Uh-oh. All right, so who's out? All right, so he's pointing. He's pointing. Yeah, Jamie you play and went down because he stepped over, over the line. Ah, oh, sorry. We are now at the, we are now under the 520, the 520 mark. Oh, good block. Again, score is still only one to one. It's been a while since you well, I want to say a while, but I want to say last year, not 2023, but 2022. Oh! Did he block in time? Did he block in time? He blocked him in time, but not by much. The margin of error was real slim. And UVA is just sick to the stump. And they're like, wait, come on. That should have been on us. We should have had that. They won't get it. But, yeah, UVA did take the JMU overtime at the Maryland tournament. Not 2023, but 2022. That was a fun game, too. Eli, high reset throw. Man, this game has been close. And UVA only has four players left, and they're on the 10 count. However, because they only have two balls, 
Oh, grown man catch right there. Taking out Schaefer. Woo! But 18 caught my man sleeping. And once again, UVA will be on the 10 count after they make this throw. Oh! We are now at the 3.30 minute mark. Yeah, at the 3 minutes and 30 seconds and under. House holder. Good reset throw. If I'm JMU, I try to get a team throw on the right-hand side and then use some of the players on the left-hand side to protect their players just in case UVA wants to do a counter which they kind of did, but then house order goes down that exchange. Was it timeout call? I think it was. It's getting close now. We're now under two minutes. I mean, oh, excuse me. We're now under three minutes. Two minutes, 58 seconds. Score is still tied up one apiece. About to get good now. It's suspenseful. Oh, final score three to two. Man. And it looks like from the body reaction, it looks like Ohio won. But I need to check, but I need to check and confirm, but Yep, Ohio won, three to two against Penn State. Another three and zero tournament, six consecutive wins for the Bobcats. They are on a surge in the second semester, putting on a clinic. All right, here comes Wu. All right, here come Ryan, Swab, Eli, Swab, throw. Well, he still got to throw. Oh, that's a ball's over. Oh, no. Oh, no, that's a terrible mistake. And we'll tell you the reason why, ladies and gentlemen. There was a possibility that things would have been going back and forth like it has been. There's a very good possibility UVA would have been able to take JMU to overtime for the second time in their program history. Now, with that happening the way that it did, ah, oh man. I think UVA got one more timeout left. Knew that was going to happen. Knew that was going to happen. UVA had a chance, and they still have a chance. But now they got to figure out a way how to survive for two plus minutes. Not saying that it's impossible. I'm just saying the odds of them winning or at least pushing this game to overtime has kind of decreased, kind of, kind of a little bit. And that's the reason why it's up to Wu now. One play left to beat. One minute and 50 seconds. He got to figure out a way to either get a, well, that's kind of just ended everything. So what just happened? Because he made the catch. Oh, no. That's crazy. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, man. That is unfair. Fortunate. I thought the game was up. Oh. Yeah. All right. Well, that answer that question. The game is over. The game is over. You, later, Chris. But, uh, yeah, game is over. JMU wins in regulation 2-1 to one over UVA. 
Ugh. Penn State falls to Ohio, three to two. Girl, don't be complacent. You better take time.